Some dodging those showers, trying to soak in the final days of summer. In Anoka, they're taking advantage of the city's social district, allowing them to enjoy a cold drink while on Main Street. Renee Cooper is there now. She's been reporting on this since the city was first testing it out last year. Hey, Renee. Hey, Ben. Yep, people are out sipping and strolling as they peruse a plethora of food trucks here. This area where you're allowed to drink and roam is called the Social District. And today, we checked in with a bar owner that jumped on board at the very beginning last year. We did the trial month last year, and that was fun, but this is like our first full season, like with events. A year after the city of Anoka gave the Social District a try, 201 Tavern co-owner Gloria Nelson says it's been nothing but good news for business. We'll sell more drinks because they're coming in, getting drinks, going into food trucks, coming back, refilling, and it's just kind of like a fun, open way for people to enjoy Anoka. 11 restaurants and bars participate, including at least one bar, Billy's, that joined in after seeing how the pilot went. Here's how it works. A bartender will fill your designated social district cup with your favorite beverage. And between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m., you can sip and stroll throughout the area on this map. It's nice. It's nice that you can kind of still walk around, check things out, chat with people, but you have the opportunity to stay kind of in a safe environment. We came for the food truck fest, but we also knew that there was beer going to be here as well. So we decided to dabble with the beer before we went to the food, get a little base, and then we'll continue on. It's definitely a cool thing to see that the city is able to do this. Um, we're just having a lot of fun. So. Our conversations were by no means a scientific poll, but everyone we talked to had positive feedback. I think it would bring a lot of young people to the city. They can walk around, have a beer with their friends, move around, see Anoka. Locals glad to see their city start a trend. So we're excited just to mingle and walk around with our cups. This is new for me, so yes. I love it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Now, this spring, state lawmakers also gave the go-ahead to Stillwater and Shakopee to start planning social districts of their own. So we may soon see three social districts throughout Minnesota. And this food truck festival, if you haven't checked it out yet, this goes till 9 p.m. tonight. Live in Anoka, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.